hello friends today in this video we will see the ssrs dataset execution have we thought about the flow of execution of datasets like it's in parallel execute it, it it runs like a parallel mode or it's like in a single transactions have you got any questions like in one data set you are creating one temporary table and using this uh, that temporary table into the second data set so if if we know the execution flow then we can tell if it's in like uh, if it's uh, executed in parallel mode then of course two two data sets are executing parallelly so one temporary table we can't use in here in the second data set because all second data set is already in the execution when one is also in the execution so it will not get the temporary table let's see the issue how how, how the issue will come and then we will try to resolve the uh, issue issue of like uh, using uh, creating one temporary table in one data set using the same data uh, same temporary table into the second data set so first we prepare the data like this so what i am telling like if we, if we execute these statements in sql server it will execute properly the first sql query will creating temporary table then and then second data set is using this temporary table to filter out the data because it has the value aci and we have filtered this data set based on second temporary uh, the temporary table based on the temporary table data is then we are dropping let's say in ssrs we create one data set based on this another data set based on this will it work let's find out let's create one add new report next sql server in my case any database because we are anyway using the temporary tables let's for example we are creating like this then select start from hash any share let's say tabular hit in next next data set execution so sample report is ready anyway we will not use this so i am removing this this is the data set property as opening we will change initial ds this for initial so what i am talking like we are just creating one data set data set to insert into the template table no fields add another data set and let's say this is the main data set now we'll copy this there is no need to drop a table in necessary because it will take anyway the per session whenever you execute it create new session okay 
we need field initial and country okay it will say object is not exist anyway we close it before closing we can give the field name initial and country query field initial same initial query field country because data set require asking for the table which is not found. so automatically fields are not driven so we have failed now now we'll insert table and we will use data set main initial and country and we'll run it So the same error like query execution failed for dataset yes main because invalid object name initial because both the data set executed parallelly and in the second data set if the, the hash initial temporary table is not found. So how to resolve this? So we want like a single transaction like we are running in the SQL server easily because it's completely running as a single transaction so in SSRS we have data source connection if we go to the properties we have one thing use single transaction when processing the queries just check it ok so after this how how the execution will be so whatever data set is in beginning it will execute the first from the beginning so ds initial will execute first ds main execute second so that is our required uh, thing also see it is filtered it runs successfully first accci same sql result it's working fine So let's say we copied this initial value and just drop delete this yes initial. Now I am again creating that means it will create below. Right ds initial and Now what will happen? First it will look for the template because it will execute this first if error comes. See? So first this this data set executed which don't have the hash initial table definition which is not created. After that the table created but before that only so error comes. So no data. Invalid object now initial. So it is required. It is required to to create the data set in sequence order. Let's delete this and create again. Yes, understand main. Fail we can give like uh, we can add like earlier we added so it will be initial field country country the press okay and it's working fine 
so now we come to know right like data sets actually by default execute parallelly but we can make it a single transaction based on the property in data source proper in the data source property use single transaction when processing the queries thank you guys for watching this video if you like it please like please comment share or if you like all my videos or you want to see all my videos subscribe it in future i will include many more pi tools different pi tools like jasper qq tableau and msbi as well thank you for watching this